Hi everybody, this is Sam with Python Basics and we are going to work more with strings and most specifically is we're going to learn about the find function. We're going to do uh, the substring, we're going to slowly build and work on substring and we're going to we're going to do this with the built-in method. If you haven't seen last time's substring video, watch that and then we're going to show you another way that was the long way, but to get you to think about it. But right now we're going to do a little crash course on the string method. So let's just do x equals a, b, c, d, e, f. All right. So we're going to start there. And then this is how the method works. Let's just read a little bit on it. If you haven't seen helper dir, go and look at that. Then you'll see what I'm doing here. Str find. So okay, these are important. And whenever you're messing with built-in tools, methods, or functions, always run help to make sure. So all right, it's a method. So we got to do our string or whatever class it is. It's find. And they read this as substring start and end. And this is important. It returns an int, an integer. And we're gonna have to slowly tweak this. So alright, here's some here's some high points. Returns lowest and in, in indexed. All that is is a fancy way to say it's gonna stop. It only returns one. There's some there's some holdbacks for this. So it's gonna return one, the lowest, the or the first, the first instance and that's it, then it's gonna stop. And then here's the other part. It'll return negative one on failure. So let's go through this. So all right, print x dot find and let's look for a. We'll close this out. And run it, zero comes out. So A is in the zero position. So now let's look for, I'm gonna leave these so we'll, we'll go through them. B, first and second. Change this to D. All right, the third index, not the third position, but zero, one, two, three. So now, now let's do one that is not in there. G's not in there, right? So let's do G. So okay, so we have our first couple, then it fails because this is how it handles its exception. When something doesn't exist, it kicks out negative one. So now let's do this for a second. Let's do another A. So let's run this. But only one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So let's do this. So it didn't grab. So this should be one, two, three, four, five, excuse me, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So let's try this, figure out why this isn't working. So okay, recap, scroll up here. Returns the lowest index the first time. It's gonna stop looking, so it goes back. But let's look right here, start has the option of where arguments start. So you can actually slice this. So now you can put another argument right here. So our first A is found at zero, right? So let's just say we want to start at index one. This is important. So I'll say this again. We found A the first time at index zero. Index zero right here, A right there, index zero. 
And now we have another A at index six. So I'm telling Python to use this string find method. Look for A, but start looking at index one. So now let's run this. Ah, lo and behold, there's the first one. Fails on G. And here's our index for our second A. So that's a quick little crash course on the, the string find method. So, and we're going to build on this. We're going to we're going to actually do uh, how to search for an, uh, multiple substrings and search for them and count them. We're going to do this slowly so we don't skip any steps. So, don't forget to click that like and subscribe button. And also, very important, make sure you're clicking that bell so you get notifications because. I'm really starting to put out more videos and building upon and slicing them up and doing multiple multiple selections on them. So please leave any comments or questions or any video requests. Those are very handy. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys are getting something out of this and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.